folks, uh, I'm going to go through our, um, our whole thing again uh, and show you a couple more things related to it, but also cover the whole project from the get-go so we have a good record of it. Um, even going back so far as to go back to Photoshop, where we start with some, something that shows us these visemes, shows us these mouth shapes we want to have, uh, in this case, eight of them. Uh, and we might want to rest one too, but we'll talk about that. And then we convert each one into a separate layer. As you see, they're named that way, and draw over the top of them to get the right shapes. Uh, so we have FV, this is LTH, this is O and U, this is O, E, close these other ones, uh, I, almost all my consonants here, and then this is M, B, and P, plus, uh, that's also my rest one. If the lips are just sitting there, they'd be sitting there like that, roughly. Um, so once I have all of these, I save this as a PSD, and then I import that PSD, which I did over here, uh, which is nothing more than copies of all of these, as you can see. Uh, and there's one thing I'm going to be animating in them, the opacity. That's it. Um, even here, I'll just start keyframing all that. And this one, we'll zoom in on it to show you. I want at 100% because that's the rest lips anyway. And the rest of them, I want at 0%. So I can turn them up as I need them. That's keyed. That's keyed, good. I bet all the rest of these are keyed. Uh, it strikes me to show my keyed channels. I believe I hit U. No. M, do you remember, Christian? To get all my keyed channels. Uh, U. Is it U? Uh, maybe, oh man, I have to have them selected, probably. That would make sense. Now we'll do U. There we go, yes. So that's perfect. Now they're all open and they don't have all that noise in my way. Like all the other rows of stuff, I have just the opacity thing. Uh, and you'll see that they're all off except for the top one, which is open, which is good. Um, now I need my audio, which I have over here. Um, and actually, I think I'm normal. Do you feel normal? I hope I'm not going to regret that. But we will find out. Um, I think, I think I want to ditch that one, I think, um, because what I'm working towards is something like this, and actually let's see if this will play even. So that would be putting the whole thing together, ideally, uh, but I need to get my lips get them synced up and then work from there. Um, I will, uh, I have my lip sync over here um, and I should probably just make myself a new visine layer. Uh, this is my You Feel Normal. And you'll see this here. You feel normal. You feel normal. You feel normal. Good is all that's supposed to be, and I make a copy of that, because I know I'm pleased with working with this. This is doing everything I want. Uh, you feel normal, uh, create proxy, uh, edit, duplicate, which gives me you feel normal too, which is good. That's what we want that to be. Um, I don't need the front part of this. Let me zoom out a little in my timeline here. Good. And we'll change our work area a bit and probably put that over to there. Uh, let me pull the work area because we're playing from work area. Yeah. There we go. Now we want to get down further. I I okay, that's pretty close to where we want to be. Let me pull this. We'll try to get just, I hope I'm normal. 
Okay, that's not awful. I can actually open this up and take a look at what audio we're looking at. I think from there to there. And let me zoom in on that a bit or zoom out. Actually, we want to go right to there. We might even want to back off in the last eye. That's the part I want. I want that with all my other stuff lined up. Uh, lift work area. Watch what happens when I do this. Darn. <laughs> Let me try extract work area. Good, I think that did what I wanted to do. Um, that should have pulled up my work area as a separate composition. Uh, why is it not pulling it? I'm forgetting something. Um, but we won't worry about that right now. Um, what I want to look at is what am I going to start keyframing here. Um, we start with the lips there, which is good. Uh, let's zoom ourselves out here a bit. Good. Why you're not moving on your timeline? There we go. Okay. Good. So uh, we can start right here and we know that this is going to be an eye, uh, which is uh, over here. Uh, so the height of that, we're going to have this go up. So we'll start here and we'll key that at zero. And then by the time it gets here, we'll put it up to 100%. Uh, meanwhile, we'll turn off the M. You know what? I probably need more room here. Play with my my real estate a little bit. Uh, I dislike I have two of the O's, but that's not such a big deal. Uh, MVP down here. That's at a hundred percent. There, we're going to just key it so it stays there, and we'll have it key to nothing like that. Good. And then actually, when it gets out of here to here, we'll have it key back up to 100%. Let me see if it went down to nothing. Good. Uh, and this one, the I, by the time we get there, we'll put that down to nothing. Now, if that worked. That's okay. It's not getting the uh, background off fast enough for my taste. I probably clicked something wrong. If I look at the keyframes, that's at 100%. That's at 76% and should be at zero. There we go. Okay. So I, and now let's try for the hope. We know the hope hits here. Uh, where do we got our H's? Here's our H, uh, which doesn't have a key channel on it, which is kind of annoying, but, oh, no, there's our key channel. I didn't have it selected is probably why. Uh, you know what I'm going to do is just hit U on it, and then we have it there. Um, we'll start it here at zero. We'll go up to here, put it to 100%. We'll go over to here and put it down to zero. Uh, zero. And then let's go back to the M, which is also our rest. Uh, and we want that to be at 100% here, 0% here, zero. And back to 100% here. Uh, though it might need to be something else later, but we'll see what that is. Now let's check it. Okay, so we have I ho, I ho, but we need to get the P in there actually. Uh, p -p 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 is is my my M, which is 
the right one. I hope, and we'll do the E that comes after it. Uh, this E here will key at zero. And then we'll go up to here and we'll key it up to 100%. And I think it, I hope I'm, I think it will go to the I when we're done with that, but let's see what happens. I put right in front. Okay, so we see our lips coming into play, right? And you can imagine if I played around here with enough keyframes, we would get that to happen. But we got to do something with the lips now. Um, let's take a look at what we're going to use for a background here, uh, which is this picture of Elvis and Nixon, because it's there, why not, right? Um, now, I want to be able to move them independently too. So what I have to do is I have to take them off the background with a selection. Um, like that. Uh, and then I have to fill in the area behind them, like that. You'll see it's actually a pretty lousy fill-in. I just use the, um, you know, the area fill, but that doesn't matter because they're going to be bigger than it anyway. And if I wanted to, I could blur in here, but I probably won't even need to. Uh, but this is pretty good to go like this. Once I've broken those things apart, I have them and I can bring them in as a composition. So if we head back over here to After Effects, uh, here's a composition. Show me Elvis Nixon. There we go. Um, that's actually my finished composition. I probably imported, oh, I probably just modified the layers. Look at me. <laughs> uh, Nixon Elvis. There we go. Uh, I made a new composition. Um, and I put him in it and then I dropped You Feel Normal in it. Like that. So I should be able to take my new one. Is it this one? Okay, let's take this one. Uh, and I should be able to um, pre-compose this. Uh, preview, pre-render. Uh, I want to pull out just the work area. Edit. Now, where's my duplicate? Lift work area. Now, work this time for me. Uh, oh, Control Z. That's my fault. You know why? I'm. Um, I don't have everything selected. Let's try that. Uh, although, you know what? Let me just try bringing it in. Um, we're going to go back over here. Nope, we're going to go back over. This is why naming these things can be really useful. <laughs> to go back over here, and I'm going to pull this in. And you'll see, we have a little mouth there. We now got to get it on Elvis, who's there. And we'll change the size of his lips a bit. Like that. Let's see what happens. I put my Okay, so I can see what I need to do is I need to lose part of the first one, the second one, to probably, you know what, we'll try it from here just to see what happens. I put my and actually, I need to put some other plain lips in there. So I should probably, there's a lot of ways I can do it. Um, this is kind of the, this is a pretty hinky way of doing it, but it will work. I'm just going to take it and add myself that M layer, and then I'm just going to plunk these lips back in here. Oh, did my lips go away? Don't go away on me. Actually, maybe I should move around here a bit. Uh, I probably don't need as much stuff down here. We'll go down like that. Uh, man, actually, I'm not loving doing that right now. Uh, in, out, duration, that's my problem. 5.11. We'll make it durated for a lot longer. All I want is one plain lip. Is that so much to ask? I'm going to close some eyeballs here so that um, 
I can see those lips. There they are. What I want to do is I want to put them on top. Good. That's a good place to start. Now we'll flip our eyeballs back on. Good. And now we have the lips where we want the lips to be. Uh, we'll sync up the size of them so when the big lips come, these lips are roughly the same shape as them, like th that's probably a little too much. Maybe that, okay? And then actually we will turn those lips off after that point. Let's zoom our way out here. You know what, let me put this over here just so I can grab the left side of this. Uh, oh, you know what, I bet I can do it this way. I'm just reducing it down to about two or three seconds. There we go. Uh, I want it to stop probably right there, probably. Let me see if I'm right about that. We'll change the size of them so they're a little bigger this way. Sort of comic book lips, but let's see if it works. E, 16 gigs of RAM here, folks. and. I'd better save. Saving would be a very good idea at this point. I'm going to save this as Lip Sync 4 because as you can see these projects take up a lot of time and energy. And can easily crash on us too. Good. Um, let's try a play on that. Okay. And I'd have to do the laugh in the middle too, but this would be the composition where once I make those lips, and that's why I can make the lips separately. I can work on just the lip sequences and then save them as compositions and then drop them all in. Now then this composition, which is Nixon Elvis foreground, goes into this composition where it's its own layer, see? And so because it's its own layer, I can easily animate it rotating and moving. Uh, something I have to do with the rotations on this, and I'm gonna select all of them, is I'm gonna make the rotations ease in and out. Uh, right mouse, uh, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Now what that should do is this, and let's turn on the background too. Okay, so this is a whole bunch of parts, folks. <laughs> and this is oftentimes how After Effects is used and someone would concentrate on just one part that copied over and as you see things start to get very complicated in terms of layers in terms of what I'm naming things and moving them around yes um, okay I'm going to call that done